Okay, hi everyone again, Peter here, and today's topic I'd like to talk about negative emotions and some really useful tips that we can use to just quickly change it into a negative, uh, from a negative emotion into something more positive. You see, our thoughts, the way we re represent our, all of our emotions, are through our sights, sounds, feelings, and even tastes and smells. And what we're going to do now is a little trick that I learned to be able to change the way we structure the thought of a negative feeling and change it into something positive. So the first thing we do is when you notice that you have a feeling of anxiety or a feeling of stress or even a feeling of depression, the first thing what we always do is to bring a lot of mindfulness into it. So be aware of that emotion. Now, don't try to think too much about it. Instead, sense it. Notice where it is. Is it kind of manifesting in your shoulder or in your heart or down in your stomach or is it fuzzy in your head? Just be aware of noticing what body sensations are going on because the feeling that you're getting is the body's reaction to the particular uh, negative thoughts that you have in your head. So forget about those negative thoughts and spend all your time concentrating on where that emotion is in the body and how it feels. Now, you might notice that it has a certain movement to it because emotions often move around the body. They might be spinning. Sometimes they'll feel like they're spinning forwards or spinning backwards or spinning clockwise or anti-clockwise or moving from one part of the body to the other. So notice that. That's the movement of it. Another thing which I find very useful is if you were to give that emotion a colour, what colour would you say that it was? Is it a grey? Is it a red? Is it a whatever colour it is? Just notice that. Now with these two things alone, you can do an interesting thing with that negative emotion. So what I'd like you to do is, in, when you get a good visualisation of the colour and the movement of that emotion, try changing it to something uh, a little uh, bit more positive for you. So if it's, say, grey, change it into a nice calming blue colour or an energetic yellow colour and see if you can think about using that colour to transform that heavy energy into something lighter. Likewise, if you've noticed that there's a movement in your body, say it's spinning forwards, reverse that movement, change it to spin backwards. It might be spinning fast or slow, it doesn't need to, whatever is good for you. The point is, change the way that that movement and that colour appear to you so it's lighter and more positive. Then, once you've been able to uh, change the very um, way we represent that colour and the feel of it, now instead of wanting to get rid of that energy, actually invite it into yourself and see it as a positive energy that is now enhancing yourself rather than a negative energy that's pulling you down. Because all emotional energy in its very, very heart is exactly that, just energy and it's neither positive nor negative except we make it so. So if you change that which was once a negative energy and see it in a positive light with a positive movement, you can then uh, invite that energy in and use it to transform yourself. Now there are other ways to deal with negative emotions as well which I'll go through in other videos, but that's a very very quick and very effective uh, way of dealing with negative energy. So go ahead, try it. If it works for you, great. If not, then try something else. That's Peter, signing out. Thanks very much.